Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Melanie Gemini, Missy Tarot, back at you again. So this may be the last reading that I'm finna do tonight, y'all. But you know, I've been, you know what I'm saying, trying to get everything together, trying to get everything going, trying to get everything organized. Yes, I do work. And then, yes, I, you know what I'm saying, support and work, you know, helping, doing my family thing, doing my thing for Melanie Gemini, Missy Tarot. Because, y'all, we getting there, y'all, once we get to 4,000 people, subscribers, family, y'all, trust and motherfucking believe, we is doing free live mini readings, y'all. So, let's see what's going on. Oh, shit. Y'all, 10 came out with a whole lot of other ones, I think. Hold on. I'm getting mother. Something about somebody mother. Turn... Y'all, oh my motherfucking gosh. Y'all, this thing done did its own little thing, y'all. It twitched. Y'all, I ain't say shit else when that shit twitched. Y'all, I know this shit been going on on YouTube, but y'all, somebody mother turned on, somebody mother turned on you. So your mother turned on you. Y'all, that's black and motherfucking white. And there's going to be an ending because the 10 had came out, but I put it back in the deck to see, you know what I'm saying? That's going to come my spirit. That was too many. I'm going to get, and your mother was maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Capricorn, excuse me, uh, Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what be said. Better life. So, okay. So maybe someone chose up on you chose up to be with a man to have a better life and whoever and who gave a fuck about yours even though you was a child or you had you know what i'm saying like they feel like you was gonna stop their happiness or however pregnant maybe your mother got pregnant and she turned on you or maybe you got pregnant and your mama turned on you for a better life because maybe this guy or maybe the mother said something or the stepmama said something and you know what I'm saying? It totally changed the game. You know what I'm saying? Step mama, step daddy. Everybody is, we ain't just got our females on here, but we got 73%. Shout outs to the 73% of the females on here. And let's shout out to the dudes that's trying to get it right. Moving forward, <clears throat> then I'm getting something about a water sign. Lost, mourning. Maybe somebody turned on you. Maybe someone got pregnant. Five of Cups energy, Scorpio Pisces. Maybe something about somebody grieving. Maybe somebody's mother passed away. Or maybe somebody turned on you after their mother passed away. Maybe someone's having negative self-talk. Or a Gemini, um, this water sign um, is grieving and everybody grieves differently. So maybe when this person started grieving over somebody. Or maybe, you know what I'm saying, it's hard. Honestly, I'm getting energy that it's hard to grieve over somebody when they never chose you they made you feel like you wasn't shit you know what i'm saying but it's something about um uh, unpleasant news or someone's getting unpleasant news about someone that turned on you or you're getting unpleasant news that your mother turned on you y'all then i'm getting money happy ching ching so um something is maybe i'm getting an energy that maybe your mother turned on you for money Maybe someone turned and maybe someone or your mother turned on you for a better life and money, but didn't realize that money don't bring no motherfucking happiness. Shit, it's the person behind that shit. Moving forward, left out. Okay, so a mother that was pregnant feels left out because a mother, someone turned on this mother or this mother figure, or you have a mother that turned on you, left you out in the cold made you feel less than chose over up chose you over money for a better life then i'm getting have patience y'all have patience with that situation y'all let's get into these messages over here y'all one thing i can say is i can understand that situation because i was in a situation like that where a motherfucker would do weird things like that even in relationships they chose up on me to be with around somebody maybe they have a bigger pocket or even as a child i was chose up on so moving forward and that's my thing i would never choose up on somebody because when if someone will choose if i choose up on someone it's gonna be done to me tenfold 
moving forward let's see what else needs to be said too many spirit spirit give me one thank you guys there you go okay not enough something is not enough maybe someone is being patient and someone being patient maybe it's not enough maybe someone is frustrated in a relationship maybe it's a friendship maybe a relationship with your mama maybe a, a partnership however the situation may be it's a partnership someone is trying to self-sabotage a relationship because of ego because of ego issues because of jealousy someone is jealous or frustrated of your fucking relationship and some is telling me that some mother somebody's mother is jealous of somebody relationship or somebody's partner and that is the motherfucking truth maybe this parent feels that whoever you date is not a fucking enough and it's enough for you y'all doing stuff together and they feel like they should do more or something like that like they already had a bad vibe about them when they even got in a relationship y'all i'm getting something about um cupid's arrow so maybe your family or your mother does not like the fact or even an aunt it's a mother figure someone who has children someone you grew up with maybe it's your mother like i said but i'm getting mother energy but i'm getting the energy that maybe your mama turned on you or maybe your mama always said something negative about you, anything you did. And then I'm getting something about, you know what I'm saying, Cupid's arrow done hit you and somebody else involved, you in love, you in a relationship. And someone is telling me that your mother may be saying that this person ain't enough for you, but your mama ain't really just got no happy ass relationship. You know what I'm saying? And she wants you to be just like her, miserable or controlling or whatever the fuck you know what i'm saying like it's like it's not enough or once someone is feeling like the relationship that they're in is not enough maybe it's someone that you couple with maybe someone that you live with maybe someone that you're in love with maybe someone that you have love for there is a separation with this relationship and there is going to be a separation and an ending with the relationship with your mom because it seems like things just keep happening and it's like things ain't getting no better it's just getting worse y'all let's see what else going on let's see what else need to be said let me get one more card and then we're gonna clarify that okay y'all i'm getting ascending so someone is transcending obstacles learning and you know new phases and someone's parent preparing for a union like someone is going for someone is taking a leap out on faith to be with someone y'all so y'all let's clarify <clears throat> let's clarify not enough let's see what's going on with not enough thank you guys spirit god and archangels and ancestors let's clarify not enough let's see what's going on Let's see what's going on. What needs to be said. Something is not enough, y'all. Let's see what is not enough. What is not enough? This emperor in reverse is not enough. Maybe this emperor in reverse is a mama's boy still. And he um letting his mama intervene. Or someone that is a mother figure in his life. Intervene in y'all motherfucking business, y'all. Then y'all, hold on someone has a lack of discipline y'all looking at this picture looking at sagittarius and aries energy someone is not rooted in maybe somebody's birthday is in april aries energy aries sagittarius energy right here Maybe this person is an Aries, Sagittarius, maybe fire sign energy, y'all. And maybe this person that you're dealing with is a twin flame. It seems like maybe something ain't never enough for this person. And then when it is enough, they'll still make you feel like it is not. Maybe you separating from this twin flame energy. So I'm telling me you have a problem with family relationships and the person that you're dealing with. Y'all, I'm getting death endings. So, y'all, there's an ending to this twin flame relationship. 
there is separation in this relationship or there's separation for right now y'all if y'all want to keep going through the same thing over again with the same person take three years off get back together and it's the same thing keep doing it because that karma gonna hit both of y'all because you were supposed to be and leave them alone let's clarify separation let's see what's going on with that thank you guys spirit god and our angels let's see what's going on with this separation give me one spirit it says someone um is separating because there's no equal give and take there and someone is not giving someone is not being generous there's a separation because this person was showing generosity towards other people and that is the truth maybe the money hasn't been the same or maybe they'll say they don't have money but they don't because they probably gave it to someone else or maybe they're in a third party situation where they had to take care of more responsibilities once they got around this person or maybe a child's mother or maybe a child's father y'all moving forward let's see what else going on let's see what else need to be said um clarifications for uh 10 of uh i mean 10 of the swords and roses with truth is something coming about relationships and families so maybe somebody's family is going to be uprooted or you are moving you and your family away from things that serve no purpose in your life and maybe you did this and you're going towards people places and leaving you're ascending you're leaving chariot car y'all and then you're leaving from this this you know what i'm saying and then you're going towards something else finding something else that you have passion in y'all boy, boy look somebody upset this water sign upset you know what i'm saying this person in love with you but y'all how people love you y'all when people love you how people love you is not sometimes how you're supposed to be loved they look at it from how they see other people love people and I tell people sometimes when I look at things, I don't want to be loved by nobody. I just want to be just by myself, chilling. I just don't got time for it. I don't got time for the confusion. I'm good right now. I'm giving myself self-love. You know what I'm saying? Like doing things for myself instead of thinking about others. But y'all, that was y'all reading. Until the next one. Peace.